It's on again. It's electricity, power management, and more. Okay, so this is an answer to one of my subscribers. Okay, so the question or the recommendation was to do a video on the various sizes of cable and uh, what you the, the application, what you can actually use it for. Okay, so here you can see different sizes of cable. There's a four millimeter square cable. There's 2.5 millimeter square cable um, this 1.5 millimeter square cable this uh, 60 millimeter square cable this really big okay so actually I've done um, a video about why we, we use different sizes of cable okay so it's first and it's 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 actually about codes and regulation okay and also the second or the most important thing about this is safety okay so the thing is we use different sizes of cable for different purposes of or different jobs this is to prevent excessive current flow which might or can lead to overheating insulation breakdown and fire hazards okay so for example let's say um you have an uh, electric cooker in your house and let's say you 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 called in an electrician let's say there's no wiring there so you called in an electrician for this uh electric cooker installation and when this electrician came in he came to recommend uh, let's say 1.5 millimeter square cable okay so when you use 1.5 millimeter square cable that uh, appliance that is the cooker can draw much power let's say 3000 upwards 3000 or let's say more more it can draw more power. So in this case, when the appliance is, is in use and it's drawing more, more, more power, it's going to what? It's going to melt the cable. It's going to melt the cable. And when the cable got melt, you, you know what will follow. Okay, so um, this a little bit about it. Okay, so actually uh, i'm going to go about the applications or the various uses of uh, the cables okay so 1.5 millimeter square cable is for is for let's say um six amps uh six amp uh, application okay so anything rated between let's say um six to ten amps yeah this this uh hot you can use 1.5 mm for okay so to be specific 1.5 mm is used for something like lighting ceiling fans um yeah most of the time that is what we use for there are some other things that you can use it for but the thing is when you are doing electrical wiring you use the various uh, sizes of cable for each and every um, application so let's say um, I'm doing a socket I have to use uh, our I will use a 2.5 millimeter square cable that is what uh, Oh, that is what per the regulation that is what is uh, recommended okay so I'll use 2.5 millimeter square cable so if in future the the client uses something lesser than the 2.5 millimeter square cable that is not my 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 business actually that will also fall within um, the right uh, application so in this case when the client is using let's say low voltage uh, equipment or appliances it will not affect the cable per se okay and also we will move to we will move to 2.5 millimeter cable so 2.5 millimeter square cable it's uh 
we we use it for 13 amps application okay so normally we use it for socket outlets uh you you see when you take out uh electrical appliances for example uh, something like a microwave it has a plug top and its plug it's rated 13 amps okay so uh, and also refrigerator it's rated 13 amps a blender it's rated 13 amps so all these appliances we use a, a 2.5 millimeter square cable for a socket application or 13 amps application all those stuff that fall within 30 amps we, we use it for this uh, stuff and also uh, we, we move to four millimeter square cable okay so four millimeter square cable is it's used for 15 amps application okay so i'll i'll set this example okay so previously i was working in a facility and there was this um there was this dryer okay so this dryer i noticed that the the cable size that was used for the wiring uh, was uh, was 2.5 millimeter square cable so i realized that this cable was always heating and actually it's a commercial uh, area so it's it actually that 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 dryer was for commercial purposes okay and so it was used for a long time or a longer period and this drawing more power and the cable was what was was in deep mess it was suffering okay because it was was drawing the appliance was drawing to so much power okay so how did i solve it how did i solve this heating uh heating uh problem okay so i just changed the cable to four millimeter square cable and i did never my my time at that facility i didn't experience any heating from the cable again okay so i solved it by applying or using the right the right sorry the right cable size that is four millimeter square okay so what are some of the things that fall under 15 amps okay so i've mentioned dryer air conditioners uh, uh, electric cookers um, yeah and stuff like that yeah okay and uh, finally we move to uh, 60 millimeter square cable okay i will go up to 16 millimeter square, square cable because this is what most of the time we use uh, for residential or domestic purposes okay okay so 16 millimeter square cable it's used for anything between 70 to 100 amps application okay and actually according to regulation and codes okay so this mainly for supply supply is um the cable from the ecg pole or the national national grid to your energy meter and also to the distribution board these cables are, are wired with 16 millimeter square cable so you see this menu try here this from the meter from the meter this cable supply power to uh, this distribution board so this 16 millimeter square cable this 16 millimeter square cable right here uh -huh. and so to 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 finalize on this uh, topic okay so um and one more thing our 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 earthen conductor or our earth conductor is also 16 millimeter square it's right it's also 16 millimeter square cable okay so these are the various uses of uh or application for various sizes of cable you don't use 1.5 millimeter square cable for sockets uh layout or sockets uh wiring you don't use 1.5 millimeter square cable for um, air conditioning and stuff like that though 
in recent times, I've, I've seen appliances uh, that are in, in air conditioners. One time we went to work, I have a friend who is an air conditioner technician, so I went, to, I went in to assist him, and I realized that most of the wiring in the air conditioner unit, uh, the cable size was 1.5 millimeter square. That doesn't mean when we are doing our wiring, you will go and use 1.5. We will use our standard. The standard is four millimeter square cable. Okay, so I'll go over it again. 1.5 millimeter square cable, it's for lightning, ceiling fan, and anything that fall within six to 10 amps, okay. 2.5 millimeter square cable is for 13 amps application. Anything that falls within 13 amps. 4 millimeter square cable is for 15 amps for air conditioners, water heaters, uh, cookers, um, um, dryers, etc. And 16 millimeter square cable is for application that application or we use it for 70 to 100 amps application so final word electricity is dangerous and can be hazardous it's not something that we 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 play with you know uh we we work on electricity and we we are very careful with electricity because uh, it's like a uh, it's like, uh, let's say, it's like a knife. We use knife for various stuff, but when you mess up, it will just cut off your finger. Okay, so you, we use electricity wisely. We use electricity as it should be, or as uh, it's, it's assigned, and you don't use it anyhow. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and so, uh, to answer your question, this to my one of my <coughs> excuse me, one of my subscribers actually, I screenshot your question or your recommendation where you uh, made that comment, but I've looked for it. I can't find it, so I can't mention your name. But I'll try and <coughs> I'll try and look for that uh, screenshot and post it. Okay. So there's the video and this is the answer to your question i hope i've answered you correctly and i hope uh, this this will help you thank you